time to get back on trail. Just waiting on an Uber driver. And back where I left off. So of course I finished on this side of the freeway, so I wanted to start on this side. So I gotta jog up here and then go under. sure that's the peace stop for every trucker coming through here. So updates, not all for the better. I did get a day off. Taters and I got in San Luis Obispo at about 6.30 on Sunday evening. She stayed with me that night in a cheap motel. She left early in the morning to go back and teach school. I stayed one additional night. And I basically followed my normal through hiker protocol, which was barely get out of bed and just get off my feet the entire time, other than one expedition for coffee. Unfortunately, I do have a few annoying issues here. I've got the usual kind of Achilles ache in my left heel that seems to just dog me on all these. I had that for a good chunk of the ECT too. And I have a sharp pain in my right foot, which is kind of worrying, but I've had stuff like that on the PCT and ECT as well. And usually it clears up, so there's no swelling, there was no loud snap or anything. When you're abusing your foot this much, sometimes they just hurt. At least if it's my feet. And unfortunately, it looks like the majority of the headphone issues I was having are due to an issue with my phone, not the headphone. After I was able to get Jen's phone to test, I was able to narrow it down. So I picked up a pair of cheap Bluetooth headphones that can hopefully get me through the rest of this. I didn't really have the time or the transportation to get it fixed while I was in town there. After that little adventure crossing the 101, I'm now on the west side of Cuesta Pass. This road will take me down to Cerro Alto Campground and eventually down into Morro Bay where I pick up the beach. So I'm just gonna kind of play it by ear today. My options are if I am not doing well foot-wise, I can do a moderate day, stay at a campground. Otherwise I can push it, do a long day, stay at a hotel, or I could stealth camp. Honestly, Taters and I talked about it and I've done so much stealth camping last year and had so many you know, stressful nights, I'd rather not screw with it. So I've been sharing the road with a lot of cars, campers, and mountain bikes, but looks like it's uh, going to get a little sparser here for a bit. So <clears throat> this was the shorter option for today. <laughs> This is a nice little campground. It has uh, running water and everything. My easier option for today was to come here and stay, but I'm going to push on to at least Morro Bay. Here we are again. Two hundred and fifty some miles, and it's the road walk that's ripping up my feet. <laughs> <laughs> 